Hello and welcome everyone, PC Noob here with another episode of my Crash Landings Let's Play series. We're back here in the pressure chamber room and I've made a few changes. I've installed all advanced pressure tubes uh, except for here but uh, throughout this entire system and I hooked up the kinetic compressor which changes the RF energy into um, Pressure, I guess. This thing is not working very fast. How is my pressure doing here? Not too bad. And I just want to show you guys like how quickly this stuff makes things. I need to put. Oh, I got a couple of creeper seeds there. Cool. Mm, let's let the pressure build up just a little bit. Uh, I've also installed an assembly drill into this contraption and I had to make a new program the drilled in laser program and I installed some upgrades uh, in order to make these advanced pressure tubes and when I need to make the PCB circuit boards I just switch back to the other program I'm not sure if it does both I, I didn't wasn't able to get it to work but uh, I might give it another shot that's about it that's changed down here I just have to keep an eye on this because uh, if I let this go for too long it'll Probably blow some things up. Getting a bit more pressure in here. Okay, do we have creeper seeds in here? Negative. Put some in there. Let's see how long this takes. Up around the other side. Now, these advanced pressure. Oh, that's making plastic quickly. What do I have this set to? Not plastic. So let's Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted just plastic, please. Thank you. So we'll throw that back in here. And we should get a bunch of plastics. Yep. Cool. Use those for the PCBs. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of compressed iron, but it's fairly easy to make now. Especially with the amount of uh, pressure this thing can generate. What else did I get last episode? I don't really remember what it was. There's a kinetic compressor. Um, I'll have to go back up and show you guys, and hopefully I'll remember that way. A few more plastics. But I went ahead and gathered a bunch of resources and did a bunch of crafting in order to get a few machines done for this episode. So I can figure out how they work off camera. Not much has changed here. I think I had to expand and put a few more barrels in over on this side. This is filling up pretty quick with random drops. Got a ton of armor and weapons and stuff like that now. Um, that's pants, chest plates, helmets, boots, weapons and bows, a few more weapons. But I have to keep emptying that chest, otherwise it clogs the system. Um, here, we have the magma crucible, uh, blue transposer to make that flux, uh, electromingot basically. And we have the redstone furnace installed now, I really haven't used this much, but just basically runs off of energy instead of charcoal or whatever. Pardon me, scratch my nose. Uh, we have things running here, but it's um, kind of running out on resources. I have a lot of dust filling in the empty spots. Uh, I just recently found out you can put cobblestone right in here and make uh, gravel. So I'm going to eliminate this system eventually and just replace it with a bunch of pulverizers. Put a cobblestone barrel in here so it constantly is replenishing this. But I'm out of hammers, so I'll have to remember that. Uh, let's put... Stack of cobblestone in there. Pardon me while I just run down here. Go ahead, blow up. I don't care. Something else I've just uh, recently discovered. Nothing revolutionary. Uh, I put ancient spores on dirt here to grow the mycelium. And then when you put water in this birch barrel, it goes to witch water eventually. And then you put the sand in there and you get soul sand. I've been sifting some soul sand for the nether quartz. Head back on up. Not much has changed here. 
Same old setup. But let's take a look at the quest book. We're working in technological stuff here. We need the auto packager. I think I have pieces ready for that. We need that, that, that. Auto packager, please. I guess it would help if I looked at a crafting table. Okay, crafting table, pistons, redstone reception coil, and some iron. Auto packager. I have no idea what this thing does. Uh, I've asked a few people about it. They had no idea. So, I'm going to do some research or something on that. But that should be the completion of that quest. We get pneumatic servo, impulse item duck, hmm. and invar battle wrench. And reward. Cool. It doesn't really tell you much here about what this does. It more talks about the pulverizer. Cause that's a pretty, pretty handy thing to have. Advanced machines. Induction smelter, magma crucible, and glacial precipitator. We have all that stuff already. Wow, so we get redstone, hardened glass, and we get to choose from this. Endrium blend. Hmm. These other ones aren't too hard to make, really. Uh, that, I have no idea what it is. So I'll have to look into that, but that's cool. Uh, AE controller suite. We might work towards that at the end of the episode. I think I have the pieces for this. Let's take a quick look. Stash that stuff in there. Uh, we're going to need that. See shears, chest. I'm not sure what else. Uh, let's take a look. Planter. We need plastic, pistons, copper. Oh boy, didn't take this one out. So we need some more iron. Uh, let's say copper. We need plastic. Might as well grab some redstone. So you know you're gonna need that. And we're making pistons here. Need some cobblestone. Okay. Planter. Okay, we need this. We're gonna need two of them. Do that up. Just like so. Oops. A couple of those. And some redstone. Alright. Now, we need a flower pot. Hmm. Crap. We need to make some clay. For that, I think it's just dust. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure it's just dust. Yep. Okay. Place that down. Break it. Cook it. Don't miss the bricks we need for the flower pot. Let's look at the other things here. A harvester. We need more shears, plastic, invar battle axe. Hmm. That doesn't seem too hard. Uh, gold and reception coil. So we need gold. More. No, that's a different one. Uh, we got iron, so we can make shears. We're going to need some invar. We need some sticks. Uh oh. I forgot about this, didn't I? Let's uh undo that. Okay, now that's pulsating like that. I have a safety in here somewhere, so it's letting off some air. Um, doesn't look like any damage was done. Yeah, it was uh pretty full. Whew, that was close. I think I heard that. Back up to the top. What were we doing? Uh, we we're waiting on this so we can make a flower pot. Boom, boom. boom. Let's see, planter. No, what? What? Palnerter. Planter. Go shift click. Awesome. Got the planter done. What else do we need? Harvester. Harvest. For that, we need that Invar Battle Axe. Oh, I didn't grab the sticks. One, two, 
three. Back to the top. I think it's actually just two I needed. There we go. Invar Battle Axe. Harvester. Let's see, do we have everything we need? Uh, we do have a couple of shears. I made a bunch of machine frames off camera because, um, dang, I knew how much of a pain in the butt they were going to be. Uh, they take a lot of time in the pressure chamber and whatnot. Okay, we have to use a different crafting table. Here we go. Pick up a couple of these. I'm sure I'm going to need them. Plop that in there. That's the harvester. Awesome. What was the other one? Fruit picker. Fruit picker. Oh, I'm so excited to see what these things do. I'll I'll definitely have to figure it out off camera. Oh, we're gonna need a bunch more. We need more. One more stick, I think. I think I have enough invar on me. Mm, yes. A couple shears. Is it just two or four? Yeah, four. More. I think I have everything else. Put all the pieces in place. Machine frame. Invar battle axe. And some plastic. Fruit picker. Sweet. Alright, we get induct. I induct. Item duct. Hmm? Induct what? Better barrel and some raw plastic. Cool. Uh, let's read this, I guess. Trees for leaves and saplings, crops for food. You've been harvesting by hand, it is time to move beyond that. Harvester set to shear leaves should finally put an end to your water woes. Nice. Just remember, you don't get saplings from doing that. Perhaps a second harvester slash planter combo just for saplings would be a good idea. Remember, all MFR machines except the grinder affect the 3x3 area. Install range upgrades as necessary. Okay, cool. Neat, neat. Uh, so I wonder if you just kind of place that underneath or... I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, I see my guy's kind of hungry though. Find something to eat. Give me a butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. So we got a bunch of cool things from that. Um, ooh, got that. Uh, we could work towards that. Ooh. Safari net. So I'm bottled enchanting and a diamond hammer. Hmm. Cool. With the grinder running, you are making a lot of mob essence. Yes, I am. Time to put it to good use. Task with a player has to craft specific items. Hmm. What else do we got? Completed that. All creatures, great and small. Rancher, chrono, chronotyper. A breeder. Cool. Some good stuff from that. Thermal Melton. Hmm. Oh, I'd have to use the quest delivery system for this, I think. How much do I need? One bucket of stabilized redstone. Well, that's easy. One bucket of energized glowstone. I don't know how to make that. Liquefied. Liquefacted coal. Blazing pyrothium. And jellied pyrope. Cryothium. Cryothium. There we go. That sounds a lot better. And ooh. 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 A tesseract. Wow. Interesting stuff. I don't think I'm going to go towards that one though. It seems pretty advanced. Uh, I want to take a look at this stuff, of course, before I claim my reward. So we're moving right along, but I think now it's time to look at this. We want the ME controller and the ME drive because I hooked up the ME chest right here. And as you can see, it doesn't really work. Nothing works. Uh, I know it needs some power, but... Um, not sure what else is required to get it up and running. Not sure how to wire the power in. Let's take a look downstairs. Grab some. Oh, we're gonna need more of these. 
I need to put some of this stuff away. Hold on. Put the machines in here. This in here. Put some of this stuff away. Raw plastic. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. That le at least frees up a little bit of room. Now let's take a look at how to make these. Ooh, lots of redstone, lead ingots, and glass. We have, well, we have lots of lead ingots. We have some redstone. We have some glass. Let's see. There we go. That should cover me, I think. Uh, I want all this stuff back, please, and thank you. Let's go downstairs. Uh, I think it would be right here. Yep. We need to run the redstone. Okay. From here. Right into there. Okay, now it's getting power. Not a whole lot of power, but it's getting some power, I think. Hmm. Can I store stuff now? Oh, neato. Yeah. And I can grab stuff back out. Ah, oh, sweet. Alright. Let's move to the next step, though. Oh, I also crafted something else I think is really neat. And it's something I'm super excited for. Um, especially looking at like doing a Feed the Beast Let's Play series. You right click this chisel and you put a block in here and you like craft a bunch of different blocks out of it. Yeah, just like that. Super cool. Uh, I got like pretty much any solid you can do that with. So it's really neat. So this is hooked up and running now. Cool. Be able to store a lot of stuff in there. We need, can make bigger discs too. But let's look at the ME controller. Oh, bang! Yeah, that's gonna take me a little bit of grinding, I think, to get to. Dang! Well, we created a lot of cool things this episode, none of which I know how to use, but I will definitely look into that and show you guys how it works. I at least was able to figure out the kinetic compressor, a few other little bits and pieces, nothing else special at the moment, but we got this up and running out, I can store a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, you can make bigger discs, so you can store more stuff on each disc, and I think that'll be pretty handy, pretty helpful. Besides that, things are going really well, I want to finish this level put in a bunch of dirt and start like segregating the crops, knowing which crop is where and kind of having each type um, separate from the rest. Everything down here seems to be running fairly well. We're running a little bit low on the gunpowder. Let's just clear out the chest here while I wrap this episode up. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please be sure to click that like button, show some support for this series, and let me know you guys want to see some more of it. it. Gives me a lot of incentive to put more episodes out. If you're new to my channel, or you just haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. You stay up to date with all the latest videos and find out what's going on on all my Let's Play series. Ooh, lots of goodies. I do have a barrel over here for the arrows. I don't know why. Maybe they were still in the pipe when I uh, placed that. Oh, I need some arrows. Please and thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think. Oh, okay. There's still some over here. <laughs> so I'm going to try to figure out all this good stuff that I built this episode. Find out how it works. Show you guys next episode. And I'll get all the resources together for this ME controller. Mm, I mean, I might have a little bit of this now, but not a whole lot of it. Let's see, how are we on the nether quartz? We got 44. We need four pieces. 
What else do we need? Search quartz. Yeah, we got tons of that. Mm. I don't want to run this episode too long. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather try to figure this out next episode, guys. With GT4. Uh, another quartz. Well, that's that. But I mean, we still have a lot of other stuff. To look oh. oh, dang it. Yeah, I need a lot of time off camera. Never mind, guys. I'm sorry to get your hopes up. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I thank you all for watching. I've been the PC Noob. This is my Crash Landing Ooh, Let's Play series. And until next time, as always, have a good one.